Market Preview. My name is Jason Stapleton, and if this is the first time that you're joining us, thank you so much for doing so. Uh, I hope that you'll take time to sign up um, and see that this thing gets delivered to your inbox every single week. And if you are one of the more than 70,000 traders who's received this via email, I want to thank you guys for coming back again and again and again. Again, this is why I do it, is because you guys ask me to. Now, um, we're going to get started on a few things here. I've got an advanced pattern on uh, Aussie Yen. We have also want to take a look at the Euro and see what that's doing. We're going to discuss a little bit about what's happened in the uh, pound dollar from last week. Uh, you guys have really, if you've been in the syndicate or have been uh, you know, listening at all in the live rooms that Akil's been running, he's been covering the New Zealand dollar. Uh, really, at, at, you know, He's really covered that far better or as good as I could do it. So I'm not going to cover that. We've been just pillaging uh, the New Zealand dollar over the past uh, couple of weeks. I'm taking a lot of profit out of that. And uh, we're going to be, you know, hopefully finding some additional trades on another, uh, on some other charts to give us a little bit more profit in here. But um, until then, or uh, until we take a look at the charts, we'll... Uh, we we'll just have to stand by for that. But I do want to cover a couple of things. First of all, um, those of you, I, I talked about letters going out. They went out last week. Um, for people we would like to be part of the Mastermind program. Um, uh, this is what I will say on that. Number one, it, they should be, a lot of them will be getting your inboxes or in hitting your mailboxes here if you're in the United States today and tomorrow. Um, the, if you live overseas outside the what we would call OCONUS or outside the continental United States, probably won't be there until uh, you know later on in the week, end of the week, early next week, because it takes that long for snail mail to get there. Uh, here's what I will say about that. Um, if you don't get one, we didn't send out very many. Uh, and so if you don't get one, don't feel bad. Uh, it's it, We're trying to identify who we think would be really good contributors and contenders for a very small, very, I, I don't want to say elite because elitist is the wrong type of term, but it, it is in a sense an elite group of traders that we want to take kind of to the next level and we want to go there with them. Um, I, we've got a great team that's going to be coming on. I've got, uh, just to tell you, well, you know what, I'm not going to tell you guys about it because most everybody here isn't going to be part of it, so I just wanted to let you guys know who are going to be getting letters in the mail that, hey, they're, they're on the way. Um, let's, let's, let's dive right in here. Let's, let's just start with our advanced pattern. Um, got a pattern setting up here. Now, this is not a real pretty pattern, but it's a pattern nonetheless. I'll draw in my Fibonacci retracements here. We see initial X to A leg coming into a 618. Then we see the A to B leg coming into almost a 786, not quite there, almost an aggressive C buy, um, and then skyrocketing up to complete right around, if I bring in the Fibonacci extension here, 127, 786, I'm going to invert this Fib, that leg of the move, And we're going to see possibly no, we're not going to get any. Anyway, you've got a cluster here that's forming right around the area where this market is reversing. Um, stops again, looking at X, go above X, but nice little trade here setting up. If I consolidate my chart, you're going to see that uh, you know this market really has had a tough time deciding what it wants to do here since oh about February of 2010. So uh, we've been back and forth with it, and, and now we put in a nice little advanced pattern, so we may see some continued downside pressure here, which would be really nice on this particular trade. Um, I want to also key you guys into something else that I have discovered. That Actually, it came out of our office, and I'm not going to tip you off to um, where it actually came from, but uh, it came out of our office. And we have discovered, we think... A new type of pattern and the pattern looks to be extremely profitable 
Um, we've looked at uh, many occurrences, and what we're going to do is we're going to take some guys who are, who are in the mastermind group, and we're actually going to scrub this thing and make sure we've actually got something that's really valid. And then once we do, we're going to turn it over, and we're going to start teaching it to traders because it looks really hot. But again, we're going to let a team of experts break that thing down and take a look at it, and then we're going to bring it out later, assuming that we have something that's really viable. Um, Euro Yen here. Euro Yen's forming kind of a shelf. You can look back and you can see kind of a, a level here, and if I consolidate my chart up, you can see several points in here where we started touching. We've just tapped it. We've gone through. It's really weak resistance, but you I mean you could draw it in here. You could be very comfortable saying that, hey, we're right in a reversal zone here, right in an area where the market is likely to reverse. That coupled with, look at the divergence as, as the market comes up and retests. We've got a test, retest, retest, and look at the divergence on your RSI. I mean, even all the way back here on the initial high here. We've been seeing divergence all the way across. And so this is, I mean, from a risk-reward standpoint, this trade is a really good trade. You're good back to about 106.03 as the market comes down. Um, and beyond that, you know, it's, it's, it's blue skies as, as we fall off a cliff if we get underneath 106.03. So very good kind of counter-trend trade here up against some resistance. And we'll see if we can uh, get any money out of that this week. Let's take a look at the euro. Last week I talked about the euro. This was actually some of my analysis from last week. I left it on here. I said, you know, as this market presses up, we were right here. I said, look for that pullback back into previous structure support, that or previous structure resistance. That should now become support. Now, it took a little bit longer, but you can see the market right here did, in fact, come back too, just as, just as I said it would. Came right back down into previous structure resistance, then becomes support. And the market has now rallied, and we're back up against previous structure resistance. Now, again, how do we make this trade? Well, if you took this trade to begin with, you had stops um, below here, below this spike low. I identified them here. You had a risk-reward profile. You're looking for 134.75. Now we've had a retest here. So now we can kind of adjust this a little bit if we want to. We can say, you know what? I'm going to adjust my stop down to somewhere around here. Because now the market has done exactly what I thought it was going to do, and now we put in potentially a double top here. So if you're long, the appropriate thing to do is not to now see, oh, double top, now I want to get out. That's absolutely the wrong thing to do. You've, you're in a position. That position says, I need to be long. Previous structure resistance now becomes support. Looking for the next leg of the move, which would be 134.75, right up there into previous structure resistance. So what we need to do is you just need to continue to hold, but you don't have to have your stops as wide as they were before. Now what's going to happen? If the market breaks structure here, boom, stops you out on your trade, now you have, for those of you who are students, a 2618 trade. Now you have another trade that you can that, that you can get into now that the market has shown you what its intention is. So again, these are trend continuation trades. If you're going to be a counter trend trader, then what you're going to look at Double top. Where's the market relative to support? Is there an ABCD pattern? All of these things that we do in CTS, combined technical score trading. If you're going to be a trend continuation trader and you're looking at, hey, market just broke structure. Now I'm waiting for the pullback. There's the pullback. Go ahead and buy them up. Now the market's rallying. Now the important thing to do is ignore this counter trend signal because you can't do anything. You're already long. You have to wait for the market to either hit your target or confirm to you that there's been a shift in trend direction. Those are the only two options that you have. If you do anything else, you're operating out of a sense of fear or out of a sense of greed. And we don't ever want to be doing that. So as you're watching this, guys, the appropriate thing to do in the euro is if you are long, to stay long. And if you are currently flat, be looking for one of two things to happen. Either the market to press up here into 134.75s, giving us a potential counter trade, counter trend trade, or wait for that break of structure again back the other direction for a 2618 trade. And again, these guys, the, the things like the 2618, CTS, well, you can't, you can't get CTS because that was for syndicate members only. If you're a syndicate member, I will give you 
the link to uh, to get CTS training. But you can't have that if you're not a syndicate vendor. Um, but the uh, the basics of structure, how to identify impulse legs, um, the 2618 trade, these are all things that are available for you guys uh, to purchase if you want to learn them. And they're, all they are are simple trading strategies that you can use every single day to um, to make money. And it doesn't take you know they're two hour lessons. Let me see here. And just email us support at triple threat trading dot com if you want to get access to them. I, I, and the only reason I mention it, guys, is because I get emails on it all the time. Oh, yeah, I heard you talking about this or that. How, how do I get access to that? Well, um, we'll send you the link. Pound yen, the, the pound dollar. This is the only other one I'll go after and talk about this week. We're burning about ten minutes, so we're right in there. Um, we had a situation here where we were looking at previous structure resistance. We had a stop in place back here, and then we were looking for to potentially sell that in, for a move lower. Um, this move started to happen. It didn't happen, and actually would have stopped this. Uh, you know, would have stopped you guys out if you ended up taking this position. Um, now we're into a trade where, again, look at what's happened here, and this is something that you guys can watch throughout in, inside the week. But look at what we've got here. Previous structure resistance. That resistance is violated. Support. Support. Boom. New structure highs. See how this works again and again and again? Reading the chart, reading a chart is like, is like reading a book when you understand what you're looking for. And when your eye can readily assimilate that information at a glance, now all of a sudden you can look at a chart and say, well, are we about to break structure? And if we do, what's my plan? When you've already got that plan in place and it's already there and you know your money management, you know your risk parameters, it becomes very, very easy to place those trades. But without that, it's virtually impossible. If you don't have that plan, if you don't know how to read a chart, if you if you're a technician, I, I will go I will say this I will say this much to you guys. If you are trading right now and you do not have a clearly defined trading plan and a clearly defined money management strategy stop trading immediately because you are virtually guaranteed to lose all of your money that is the absolute best advice that I can give you now I'm not telling you to go out and buy a bunch of courses I'm not telling you to get a bunch of training and invest in education because that would be stupid coming from me because that's what I do okay you don't have to hear it from me you can hear it from you know everybody else who was on your side of the fence and is now on the other side saying hey I wish I had done this sooner I wish I had gotten involved with you know some sort of knowledge based program before what I'm telling you is if you don't have those things stop trading go get them you don't have to get them here you should get them here because this is the best place but you just don't have to get them here just get them somewhere because if not you're just you're playing with fire. You're virtually guaranteed to lose. But right now, pound dollar giving you a couple of scenarios here where you could look to get long, um, and uh, and now we're looking for a move higher now because the market still showing it wants to go higher. Where are we going? High likelihood here, here, or here. It's going to be one of these stops. Um, one of these areas. I'd probably I'd probably just kill this one and say one of these two because those two are too close together. We'll take the bigger of the two. 161 and 16140. That's where you're looking. And if I actually can consolidate this chart up um let's go out to a daily. Yeah, beyond that, you guys can just see beyond that level, look where we're going all the way up here long way away 165 so we get above 161 we go to 165 and there's some there's some heavy resistance here right in this 161 to 16140 area you can look back and see it resistance support 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 I mean it's 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 prevalent so you're gonna to want to be careful around that level looking to go long out anything but again, got a lot of opportunity there around 161.40, and hopefully we will uh, we'll see some action in there. Uh, that's going to do it this week, guys. Again, 
uh, mastermind candidates. Be on the lookout for that letter in the mail this week. I will be fielding phone calls from you guys as well as emails. Uh, I want you guys to feel free to call me. I left both uh, Todd and I have left our phone numbers on there as well as our, our email addresses. Um, so you guys feel free to contact us uh, by email or by phone and we'd love to chat with you a little bit and we're going to get everybody together and kind of talk about what we're going to be doing and, and you know what expectations are and, and those types of things. And then of course the uh, advanced pattern that we think we've discovered that we're going to be taking a look at uh, over the next couple of months and if it turns out to be something really good we're going to be bringing it to you. Uh, other than that, get in there to those live rooms, syndicate members, be on the lookout for some more intra-week discussion. And until next time, good luck and good trading. I'll talk to you soon.